I'm going off. I'm riffing. Do it. <laughs> Hi, lovely. How are you today? It's Shandy, and I am so glad you're here today because I'm going to be demonstrating how to knit bobbles and bow ties. You can see both of these really cute techniques here in our gorgeous Aaliyah cropped sweater pattern. Have a look. This is a top-down raglan style sweater designed for you by the amazing Christina Smiley. And here's the reason I love it so much. It features not only these adorable little bobbles, boink, 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 but also little bow ties, which I think kind of look like butterflies. And who wouldn't love the idea of butterflies flitting around? And check out these adorable sleeves. They feature this cute little puff, almost like a bishop style sleeve. And I just think they are precious and so flattering and so fun to wear. I would say this is an intermediate pattern, but there's really nothing too complex here. So if you've made a few knit projects and you're ready to tackle a sweater, go ahead and give this one a whirl. This sweater pattern is all about being happy. It is so stinking cute. You can't look at this thing and not just be delighted. It's so adorbs. And every time you knit or wear this sweater, I hope it's a reminder to you to search out the fun, the wonder, and the joy of life because they are always there if we just look for them. So just a little bit more about this pattern. We did choose to make this one a cropped version. If you wanna make yours longer, it's totally easy. Just add to the ribbing at the bottom or you can continue the bobbles and bow tie pattern down for as long as you like. But I really recommend you try a cropped sweater. Just put on a dress, plop this on top, and I promise you it's gonna be so stinking cute. This soft and buttery yarn you're looking at is our Enduring Worsted. It's a blend of superwash merino wool and nylon. And when you block your finished sweater, you are gonna love how smooth and sumptuous and soft this feels next to your skin. I actually had this yarn custom spun just for our company, and I had it designed to be the perfect sweater knitting yarn. It's designed to feel lovely as you knit or crochet with it, and sumptuous when you're wearing it. I thought it would be super helpful today to demonstrate how to actually knit the bobbles and bow ties you find in this sweater pattern. And if you would like the full written version of this pattern, you can get it at expressionfiberarts.com and I will pop the direct link in the description for you as well. First, I'm gonna start by showing you how to work these bow ties. I've started a little swatch here and I'm gonna show you how to work these slip stitch rows and then how to combine them into your little bow tie. Okay, you're gonna to come to the part in your pattern where it says to slip five with the yarn in front and that's gonna create this look. And we'll have three rounds of that. So I'll show you how to do that. Let me knit till I get over there. Okay, you bring your yarn to the front and you're gonna slip the next five stitches, keeping your yarn in the front. One, two, three, four, five. Now, before you knit your next stitch so that you don't end up with a puckered little area, you wanna make sure and pull your stitches apart so that you have a nice loose float, and then you can proceed to put your yarn in the back and finish off your round doing the stitches that the pattern tells you to work. So now that you're done with that, let's go ahead and close up our little bow knot. When you come to the round that tells you to work your little bow knot or your bow tie, here's what you are going to do. All right, you're gonna knit till you get to that part. So it's essentially the middle of your little bow tie here. Now here's how you pull these up. So you're gonna insert your right needle under these three floats, and then you're going to knit the next stitch. And then bring that under those three floats and then slide that stitch off your left needle. Then you just continue knitting. So super simple. Then you'll just continue working your pattern as written. 
And as you go along, you're gonna find this little bow tie here forming and it's so precious. Okay, that was super fun. Let's go ahead and make these cute little bobbles. To get started on your bobble, in your next stitch, go ahead and knit. But before you slide it off, your left needle, swing around and knit into the back of that stitch as well. Don't slide it off your left needle yet. Knit into the front again. Swing around to the back again and knit into the back leg. Swing around to the front one more time and knit into the front. And then you can slide it off the left needle. Now on your bobble stitches, you're gonna work four rounds of stockinette. I'll show you how to do that. So now we need to work four rows of stockinette across these five stitches. So to do that, we're gonna begin by turning our work and purling those five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's row one. Turn it back. Now we're going to knit those five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So there's row two. Now we're gonna turn again. and purl those stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And that was row three of our bobble. So go ahead and turn again. And that's our final turn. Look, you can start to see it poking out and knit across those again. One, two, three, four, five. You can see your little bobble here. So that was row four of working stockinette on our bobble. Now let's close all those stitches up and make our little bobble. Boop. Now to close the top of our little bobble, you're gonna take your left needle and slide it under these four stitches here. You can do them one at a time if it's easier. And just pull them over that stitch there on the end. Whoops, get all of them over. And that forms your little bobble, so cute. And then you just continue knitting across your row and you'll be good to go. And that is how you form a bobble. Boop, 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 boop. And there you have it, a happy bubbly sweater that I hope brings a smile to your face. I truly hope you enjoy making it and wearing it. Make sure to go out and enjoy this lovely day and remember that you deserve for all good things to come into your life. Don't forget it. All right, thanks for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bobbles. Oops, sorry. Right. Let me do that. Sorry, did we do that again? Just go ahead and go. Let me start over. Boink, 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 boink. It so adorbs. It so adorbs. Five, four, three, two, one. It so adorbs. It so adorbs. This okay. sweater. Oh, this. Five, four, <laughs> three, two. Boop, plop this on top, and I promise you, it's gonna be so cute. <clears throat> oh, someone didn't silence their phone. And you were me. My phone's right here. That's me. Delights you just to look at it and the bubbles and the bobbles I'm going off. I'm ripping. Do it. <laughs> Cute design. And I feel like you can't look. What are you laughing about? And I want you to remember that. And it's a rem and it's a reminder. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye-bye.